What is going on you guys? Welcome to Packet Play Season Number 2, Episode Number 1. And as I said, you guys will be able to vote on the jerseys that I wear this season. I will be wearing the Tennessee Titans jerseys in this first game. But in the description below, there will be a link to where you guys can vote on my home slash away slash stadium combo. I'll have all 32 NFL teams. And if you guys want to go ahead and make a vote there, go ahead. So here is our lineup. We have Peyton Manning. Of course, we upgraded that Eric Reed that we pulled out of that game changer pack. Uh, Julius Peppers, I'm actually thinking of moving him to middle linebacker here. A lot of people keep telling me to do it, and I do agree that he probably would be a better middle linebacker uh, than a you know outside backer, even though you know he is a really good pass rusher. Uh, if I am going to be using him at all, I definitely do want him to be in the middle. It's a lot easier for me to uh, use a middle linebacker, but if I don't like it, I will switch it out. But this is going to be our lineup entering the game. I will go ahead and put the Quell Jackson back at second middle linebacker. And let's go ahead and take a look at what the guy's lineup is that we're playing in season two, episode number one. So right off the bat, you're going to notice that he has Randall Cunningham, DeMarco Murray, 84, 86 Kuhn, 86 Jones, Whitworth, Apati, Kelsey, Petonio, Bulaga. You know, just an overall solid squad, especially against my team. Uh, if this was against, you know, the main team that I used to have, then this would be absolutely no competition but because we are in pack and play and our teams are decreased then this is going to be a really good matchup for us which is what i like so he's going to start off right away randall cunningham 12 yard gain on a comeback route to his running back basically an option route uh he's going to throw pretty much lateral to his body right there get the completion and lose two yards demarco murray's going to take the handoff to the right side get knocked down only a gain of a couple and then take a look at this guy's third down and eight he's going to try to find his receiver and bang we get the interception with tyron matthew right away making some plays in season two and we're gonna go all the way back for a score and yes that does mean we're on the board there's the thumbnail pack and play is up by a score and there's the pro pack so uh should i call the team pack and play or something else i don't know uh anyways there he goes on the kickoff return you know if, they, if i show a kickoff return something's gonna happen whether it be good or bad and unfortunately right there it was bad so it takes away our pro pack it's gone seven to seven back at a stalemate so Pierre Thomas on the left side, handoff goes down, gain of about seven. Second down and three, Peyton Manning is the new general of this team. He's going to go ahead and hand out to Pierre Thomas again. Big gain up the left side, and you're going to notice a lot of things this game. As the title does state, there's a lot of warp tackling in this game, and this guy is the master of it, apparently. He loves the warp tackle, and you're going to see a lot of it this game. That's all i got to say. So first pass for Peyton Manning is no good. I thought I could loft it over his head. It's one of those things where... As he gets an interception, it's one of those things where what you think you can do on Madden is not what you can actually do on Madden. So me having Peyton Manning, I figure, you know, I can just lop that right over his head, get the completion, get the first down. But no, not going to happen. So he has the ball back, third down and six. He's going to scramble around the left, go back to the right. And this game is also laggy, by the way, as you guys can see, it's skipping. Tries to go over to his receiver and it ends up not being a completion. So we got the ball back now, first down and ten. And the clock is ticking down out of the first quarter. Another warp tackle. So we're now third down and eight. We got to make a completion here to Peyton Manning. Let's get our first one. Oh, we're going to shed a sack. Get hit by our offensive lineman and take it all the way for a first down with 59 speed Peyton Manning. I love it. Uh, now Pierre Thomas to the handoff to the left. Again, I love running to the left. I love Pierre Thomas. You're going to see it a lot this game. And we're going to have some fun with Pierre. Here on a screen pass to the right side of the field, we're going to go down to the 48-yard line for the first down. Our first completion with Peyton Manning is a screen. Another handoff to the left, Pierre Thomas gets the first down. Having a really good game with him so far. Hopefully we can get into the end zone at some point. Frank Gore to the left side gets the first down. Tough yards right there. Two rushes, four yards for Gore. That's all I really ask him to do. And then right here it skips around and end up getting hit right there. I was going to take it to the, uh, the right side, but because of that complete slowdown, I wasn't able to. Uh, Pierre Garçon right here takes a catch for only a game of about four. Nothing too serious. And then we end up getting sacked. So that's my main concern about Peyton Manning. I'm not going to be able to get away from incoming pressure. I'm going to have to make decisions a lot quicker, which, you know, I'm going to have to learn and, and focus on because I don't usually uh, use slow quarterbacks. I always have the ability to escape if I need to. So it's going to be a little bit harder uh, to get used to, but I, I definitely will here coming up soon. So uh, Mike Evans gets a catch for him right there for a first down. DeMarco, handoff up the middle, and he gets about five out of the ten yards that he needs. He's going to go ahead and hurry up. He's right in the middle of the Dallas Cowboys star. So this is a pretty cool scene right here. I just decided to keep it in the video. 
uh, for the hurry up. But second down to four, he's going to go ahead and try to find a receiver open. He's going to scramble to the left side, take off, get a first down, get some more yards down to about the 30-yard line. And, you know, he's moving the ball here before half. We have to make sure we do not let him in the end zone or get a field goal. He throws it away there. Second down and 10. 50 seconds. Clock is ticking. He's going to go a screen pass here to DeMarco, and he's going to get taken down by Julius Peppers. So third down and 14. Again, he has to find someone open. And we were right there, man. We were right there with the Honey Badger to get that pick. We're not able to. So fourth down and three. He's going to go ahead and throw it. And bang, intercepted by Bruce Irvin. Almost said Pierre Thomas. What the hell? Uh, Bruce Irvin takes it down to the 32-yard line. 19 seconds to go. Let's get something on the board here. Peyton scrambling to the right. Finds a receiver open. It is Pierre Thomas, the guy that can do it all. Goes down to the 42-yard line. And right here, we're going to go ahead and try to find a receiver open. Michael Floyd. And, oh, just not able to get the animation we need. We throw another pick. And it's not looking too well right now for me and Peyton Manning. I just got to get used to him. You know, I, I'm not the best decision maker in Madden. I never was. Um, especially with a lower overall team and stuff. I just have to get used to everything again. Uh, you know, actually being able to make decisions and throw up my quarterback. You know, Cam Newton, I make a lot of things happen because he's just so quick. And, you know, people go after me. I find someone open. So with Peyton, it's going to be a little bit more challenging, but I will get the hang of it. Uh, Frank Gore up the middle gets the first down. And that was not a voice crack. It's me making my voice high just like that. I can do it at will. 25 years old, you know, I shouldn't be having voice cracks. I know a lot of people say that in my videos, but... And believe me, it's not a voice crack. Second down to nine here. We're going to go ahead and try to find a receiver open, but end up getting hit down near the Dallas Cowboys star. Third down and nine. We have to find someone open here, and we do. It is my boy, Pierre Garçon. We got Pierre Thomas. Pierre Garçon. We got the French squad inbound. Pierre Thomas going for the touchdown. I don't even know if they're French. I just know Pierre is a French name. But, yep, we are up by another pro pack. So, bang, there it is. And four th or 14 to seven now. And I was doing pretty good that entire way. There was no cuts in the video. Uh, Darquise Denard gets a big hit right there, or maybe that's Alfonso. Ends up getting an injury on his player. He's just writhing in pain on the ground, Larry Donnell. Third down and two, and DeMarco's going to take the handoff again right in the middle of the Cowboys star, making an appearance this entire video. Uh, Dallas Cowboys Stadium is pretty cool, especially that star. First down and ten, DeMarco going to take a handoff up the middle, end up getting hit down to the 50. So he's 50 more yards to go. Can he get it? He's going to find an open receiver here. Should have got the interception. But as you guys can see, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to complain too much about lag because, you know, lag is always present in online games. But, you know, sometimes it's just so hard to make plays and, you know, use your player when it's just skipping around and stuff. So, like I said, I'm not going to make any excuses. It's just how it is. He's going to find an open receiver here down to about the five-yard line, and that is Larry Donnell again, I believe. And then Denard Robinson takes the handoff. Jumps into the end zone. Touchdown. Takes away our pro pack yet again. So we got to get that back. Pierre Thomas shrugs off a would-be tackler. Down to about the 29-yard line. That's going to take us to the fourth quarter. And we got to make some plays happen here. Pierre again to the right side. Gets the first down. Pierre to the left. Tries to go up the middle. No. Nowhere. Lose about, or actually gain about two yards. I thought that was a loss of two. Pierre again up the left side. That would have been a touchdown had he have not got a block shed. And then Frank Gore's like, anything you could do, I could do. Pretty much just about better. Gets down to about the one-yard line. And then, you know what? Kind of just contradicted myself right there. Frank Gore gets taken down. And then Corey Sheets comes in. What the hell? I didn't know I had Corey Sheets. Does not get the first down. So we're in a desperate situation. Fourth down and two. Peyton's going to find an open receiver or open tight end. Delaney Walker, or in our case, our fullback. Open for the first down. And then Pierre's going to the 20, to the 10. Five end zone with a little lag spike. Give us that pro pack. Bang, there it is. We're up by another score, 21 to 14 in season number two. Again, for those of you who may not have catched it at the beginning of the video, or caught it, I guess I should say, if you want to vote on the jerseys that we wear this season, home, away, in our stadium, go ahead and click on the straw poll below. Uh, I'll probably pick the one that wins at around maybe 50 votes, or maybe just before my next video. Whichever one has the most votes, we'll roll with that. So fourth down and 12. Big play here. We're going to get the interception. Oh, no, we're not. He gets the catch on the sideline, and he gets the first down. Oh, I feel like we just got EA'd right there. But, again, no excuses. I'm having a fun game. This guy is a good, worthy opponent for real, and I'm having a fun game. So, bang. Manny Lawson gets a big hit right there, causes the incompletion. Second down and 10. He's going to find an open receiver here on a curl. And he's going to get some big yardage down to about the 10. Make that the 11. 47 seconds to go 
DeMarco handoff gets big hit. No fumble. 34 seconds to go. Second down and four. He's going to scramble around in circles until he gets to about the one-yard line. We take him out of bounds with the Honey Badger. First and goal. Stuffed on the first play. 26 seconds to go. We're going to run the same play, but unfortunately, Randall Cunningham jumps right over the line. Gets in there for the touchdown. And oh, no, he's going for two. Oh, no, he gets the two-point conversion. So it takes away our pro pack. And now we have 25 seconds to go. Something has to happen here. Why are we showing a kickoff return? I don't know. Tyron Matthew to the 10, to the 20, spins, breaks a tackle to the 30, to the 40. Can Tyron Matthew win this game down to the 40? All oh, down to the 42-yard line goes Tyron Matthew. What a play by the Honey Badger. Sets us up for maybe a game-winning field goal. Down to the 39-yard line goes Pierre. Pierre again with the handoff. Goes down about the 25 or 35-yard line. Eight seconds to go. We have an open seat. Oh, no. A warp tackle. Watch the replay. We had an open route to the end zone. But he warp tackles us. And we don't gain anything. So now we have to kick a 52-yard field goal. And I'm sitting here talking to Clickwood during the video. Can an 89 kick power kicker make a 52-yard field goal? And I was just so uncertain. I didn't want to lose because I kicked a field goal that wasn't going to make it. So here we go. We're going for it. Fourth down and three. All I'm seeing is my two outside receivers. Can we make this play happen? Clock is ticking. Play clock is going down five seconds before the game is over. We have our two receivers one-on-one. -on -one. We're picking Jordy Nelson. We're going to the end zone. It's kind of a deep pass. Can Jordy catch up to it? And he does not make the catch, and that's going to be the game. Maybe I had time for a quick out route to get more yards for the field goal. But we made the decision. We went for the touchdown. We went for the jugular, and we failed. That's going to be the game, guys. Again, vote down below for the jerseys you want me to wear this season. I'm not too upset about that loss. It was an entertaining game. I made some mistakes. I can't complain. But go ahead and give the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.